we're getting close now, aren't we? Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Blood on the Well Done Difficulty as emulated on DOSBox. I'm Blood Art Draken, and this is Episode 3, Map 6, Monster Bait. Right, there's the door that we came through. And you can blow up a fire hydrant just for the hell of it. I like to get it out of the way so it doesn't hurt me. Uh, we, have a, we have a cultist around the corner, and we'll spook one of the hellhounds. There'll be a second one after that as well. So, we'll just take care of him. And there he is. Oh! Yep, we got the attention of both of them. Okay, that, take care of, that takes care of those two. We have a fanatic outside the construction zone here. So, we'll just flare him a bit. Yep. And before we go outside, let's attend to a secret here. Uh, if you just jump out this window, there's a rocket ledge that you can climb up. And then you can use the jumping boots to reach this doctor's bag. And there you have it. And I needed that anyway, so that's fine. Jump back through the windows. And just flip this switch to turn on this conveyor belt. I don't know if it's supposed to do anything for the map. But I like to turn it on anyway, just for the hell of it. Alright, there's some dynamite over there. Shotgun shells if you need those too. And when you head outside across this bridge, yeah, just jump. It sets off an earthquake that brings down these walls. Now there's more fanatics up along this path. So we'll just gun them down as quickly as possible. Thankfully that height can kill them after you damage them too. And then there's another one. And then there'll be a couple of fanatics on the far side over there. I like to just fire off a napalm shot at them. Yeah, nicely done. There'll be a cultist just up ahead on this path as well. And then there's some shotgun shells if you need them. So we'll just run across this bridge. Have the napalm cannon ready once again, because when you head down this elevator, we're in for a nasty trap. Yup, three fanatics were waiting before us with Tommy guns. There'll be some gargoyles up ahead too. We'll collect on the bounty. Plenty of bullets. We'll collect that drum in just a second. Right now we're heading into an engineering room. And there'll be some fanatics inside. Yeah, this map has a large emphasis on fanatics over cultists at the moment. on that Tommy gun drum and some napalm. Now I think we will hit, hit those switches first. Can't remember what they do. I think they're just lights. It's this switch in the middle that'll open up the door to my right or to the left if you're entering inside. There we go. Just get the spray can out. We'll burn these bloated butchers to death. There goes the other one. And it's a curious little structure, there's Tesla. Um, it's hard to explain, but pulling all these switches will modify this structure around and eventually give us access to a napalm launcher as well as um, access forward, basically. I think this switch opens up that door there. Yes, it does. I think they'd be more alert than that, knowing that the lights were flicked on. Anyway, pull this switch. Should pull this structure down. That gives us a switch that will give us access to the napalm cannon and a way forward. It did a thing! Now... We want the voodoo doll ready. I believe there was a... Locked. Side room I might have missed, but I'm going to head for that once other parts of the map have been done. Pull this switch, and then pull this one. It'll very slowly open the doors. We basically just want to let loose. Yeah, like that. Although... Ah, shit! There we 
go. If you're lucky, sometimes he does actually, uh... He also drops a life seed, which is nice. That's why I put on the doctor's bag. But sometimes he'll actually get stuck up there and you can just freely shoot him with the shotgun. Looks like that door opens it back up. Yes, yeah, so I have to keep in mind that there's a side area with machinery in it that has cultists waiting to be killed off, so... I have to bear that in mind if I want all the kills. Anyway, we'll, pick, we'll just go ahead and pick up the guns akimbo, flick this switch. It will turn on the power, which allows access to this switch, which is an elevator. So we'll just go back up, pick up some flares, and then cross this bridge. Which takes us to another machine room with cultists, fanatics in it, sorry. I'm just wondering if the side room can be accessed around here somewhere. I think it can. Yeah, I think this is it. Yes! And there's a voodoo doll for the taking as well, so we'll go ahead and take that. We won't be using it in this level. We'll save that for a special occasion. Those who might have seen my prior Let's Play Blood will probably remember what I did. Anyway, we'll go back to where we came to previously through this elevator. <coughs> and we have another secret. Just crouch down and crawl through this space so you can collect yourself some beast vision. Just keeping an eye out for more enemies. Oh, nothing left. Might be someone up here, perhaps. No, but we have another secret we can collect on another life seed. So just get the jumping boots on and pick up on it. Now, we have a non-secret area. That's a balcony with a couple of basic armors on it. I think we'll go ahead and collect that. After we kill this fanatic. Alright, he's dead. So we'll collect the armor. Just jump back up because it's it's easy to miss at first. I just remembered now. Uh, there's a turning point where you can either go down the river or there's another engineering room for the dam in here. So there'll be fanatics and cultists and a couple of hellhounds, I believe, too. Loaded butchers as well. <laughs> just around the corner. Oh no, those are the hellhounds. Okay, for our next secret, as well as the moon key, you can also press on these panels. When you press on both of them, it lowers down these turbines. You can basically, using the jumping boots, gain access to them to get all sorts of goodies. It also opens up this ambush right here. Not much of an ambush, boys! Alright, so I'll just jump up there. And here. There's another life seat over here. You have to pick that up to tag the secret, and then there's some napalm ammo over here as well. Now, we've got the moon key, so we'll exit this room for now, but we'll, we'll pretty much find another door that will take us back into this room later on. It's not necessary, but I'll just go ahead and show it off. For now, we want to head down this river and jump up onto this ledge here. Or you can just jump over to that ledge instead if you like, but... I'd show that. We'll collect that Tommy gun and head through the moon door. And there should be a fanatic as well as a phantasm in this room here. There's the fanatic. The phantasm should be around the corner. We'll go ahead and use the shotgun on him since we have the ammo for it. Ah! 
Ah, uh, there's another one. Now, where was that anyway? I believe there was another side area with uh, crates in it. Oh, I think it's through this way. Yeah, this puzzle. Uh, don't ask me how it works. I never spent time trying to figure it out. I usually just resorted to walkthroughs to get through it. I'm not a fan of puzzles in first person shooters. What can I say? So. I think you you flick this switch and that blinking arrow will move around and we want to start on the right side where this panel's opened up to reveal a dial. Turn that twice. Then we'll move that over to the left. And then turn that once. Back over to the right once more. once more again and eventually you should come to two blue bars and a red one when all three blue bars turn blue the door will open so just flick that arrow straight forward done this I don't know enough about dams so I don't know what you call this kind of room but I imagine it serves a purpose but anyway through this door are several more cultists and fanatics and Dorsey, the most dangerous enemy in the game. <laughs> Should be a couple more. Fanatic and a culture stage. Just clicked up on the shotgun shells. Flicking that switch will move that structure around. I believe it's there for uh, jumping purposes so you can get to the other side, but you don't need it. Caleb's, uh, Caleb's got a natural long jump ability, pretty much. And anyway, underneath the water you can get some dynamite. I guess I've got full ammo there, yes. And some Tesla ammo. And then after that little swim, just head back up the stairs. Just ignore this stru structure completely. You can use this switch to bring that platform around to the other side for a jump, but just... Uh, whoops. Yeah, like I said, just a nice long side running jump will get you to the other side. Anyway, open up this door and it leads us to another engineering room with some fanatics waiting for us in ambush around the corner. So I'm going to use the flare bursts on them. We'll just gun down any survivors. Should be a couple more fanatics around the corner along with the guy who escaped. Where did he go? Okay, I'm going to assume he's glitched out or dead. One of the two. But now we make our way forward through an elevator here, but what we want to do is get out... What the? Uh, that wasn't expected. They aren't usually on the elevator when it comes down, so... Hmm. It's unusual. I couldn't explain what happened there. But we want the remote detonators. We'll throw a few of those on the elevator. And then trigger it to go up. And then hit the button when it stops. A couple of fanatics were waiting for us up above in an ambush, so we just ambushed their ambush. Ah, now remember I told you that there was a door that would go back into the other turbine room. No, it's not it. That's not it. I believe it was. Open up this door here, and you go back down this hallway here. And then open up that door and, yeah, there you go, it takes us back to this turbine room here. But the path we want to take was the one that I stumbled into a minute ago, so... I'm going 
go back through this machinery room here, pick up some flares if you need them. And just keep the Tommy gun ready. Yeah, this is like a storage room of some sort. Probably full of different equipment, parts and other important accessories. But when you move forward towards this box, it's going to move out of the way with a fanatic trying to ambush you. And then we have another cultist lying in wait around these boxes here. Done. Now we have a phantasm in here. What's up ahead? I want to. Oh yes, there'll be hellhounds and gargoyles up ahead. So what you want to do is get the Tesla cannon out and hit the alt fire just a moment before you open the door. Beautifully executed. Then we'll just napalm the gargoyles up ahead. Uh, yeah, door. Just open up this door and there they are in the elevator. Beautiful. I like violence, don't you? Take this elevator up. It will take us to outside the dam now. There it is. With one last secret to take. We'll get to that in a moment. For now, just pick up this fire key. And if you see that ledge on the far side over there, we want to gain access to that. And there's only one way to do it. Geronimo! Oof. Shoot those toxic barrels. Uh, what they're doing there, I don't know. But it looks like we've probably just made this town's day a lot worse. We've already had enough to deal with between being ravaged, ravaged by war and cultists getting involved and decimating everyone. Now they've got a screwed up water supply. Uh oh. Here's a nifty little thing. Uh, if you want to go back out to the other side of the map and collect on some goodies, let me just get some air real quick. Basically, swim through here and then surface up the other side <coughs> and then go down this passage which takes you back out to. All this water here, <coughs> all this water here, basically. So if you want to go get some extra ammunition or any other supplies you might have left behind, you can do that. But I'm going to go ahead and move forward. I'm just going to swim back up and get some air, and then I'm going to swim back over to the other side of the dam and collect a secret after I suck in another supply of air. The secret should be in one of those window-like structures. In fact, judging by the fact that's... Has it got bars in front of it? No, that's the one. Right in front of you. Get some Tommy gun and shotgun ammo. We're done here now. We're going to swim over to the other side and get the exit. So just click on that pillar. It should lower down and open up the doors. And we'll be on into Cerberus's lair. We're on our way. So say your prayers to the Lord Almighty up above, Cerberus. It's not like he's going to answer them anyway. I'll see you guys then.